and today I want to talk about the pistols and critical ops because I feel like they're in a really weird state in comparison to the rest of the weapon classes. I'll be briefly covering their stats and then talking about how I would probably rework the pistols so that they are more balanced. Before we hop into this video, if you could please like and subscribe to the channel because over half of you guys watching aren't even subbed, so please subscribe if you find this video entertaining because it really helps out the channel a lot. Let's get right into this video. So first I'll briefly talk about the stats of the pistols and critical ops. I'll be sharing how many bullets it is to kill with each weapon for both armor and no armor opponents. For opponents with armor, it takes 4 bullets to get a kill with the XD, P250, Dual MTX, and GSR. The Deagle and the Revolver usually take 2 bullets to kill the opponents with armor. All these stats are also related to no damage drop off so it might be more bullets for long range gunfights but if you're in the optimal pistol range this is how many bullets it takes to eliminate someone with armor. Now if there is no armor, the XD45, P250 and the GSR all take 3 bullets to kill while the Deagle, Dual MTX and Revolver take 2 bullets. And the dual MTX just barely does enough damage to two shot kill someone without armor. If you literally nerf the damage by like one or two, it would become a three shot kill. Another bonus statistic is that for someone with a helmet, you can survive a headshot from all pistols except the Devil and the Revolver, but a headshot will instantly kill with any pistol if your opponent has no helmet. Now that you understand how many bullets it takes to kill someone, I will explain why I think pistols are in a bit of a dull place in the meta right now. First we have to think about pistol rounds. Now unless there is a complicated strat taking place where someone is dropping extra utility for his teammates, people usually go for one of two different buys on pistol round. First, they'll buy armor and stick with the default pistol. The alternative is to buy a high damage pistol like the Deagle or Revolver and go with no armor. I think you can see the issue here. There is never a good reason to buy the GSR or the Dualies right now because it requires the same amount of bullets to kill someone as the default pistol you spawn in with and it's much more worth it to just go for the armor than buy this other pistol. There's also never a reason to buy these other pistols on eco rounds because once again it's the same number of bullets to kill someone and you could just save the money and have basically the same time to kill with the default pistol and instead maybe buy armor or buy utility or something you don't have to waste the money on that pistol. I think the GSR and the dualies need to stand out more from the default pistols or else they will never serve a purpose in the meta. So now I'm going to talk about how I would rework the pistol so that this could happen. First off, I would leave the Deagle and the Revolver untouched. They are already in a pretty good spot as far as damage and I think they serve a good purpose in the meta right now. The first guns I would change would actually be the XD45 and the P250. Rather than have 4 shots to kill with armor, I think nerfing the damage so it became a 5 shot to kill someone with armor and a 4 shot to someone without armor would make these weapons way more balanced. Now if it's not possible to tweak the damage so this is possible, then I guess I'd be fine with 3 shots to kill someone without armor, but optimally, 4 shots on no armor would be better. I would also like to see the dualies in GSR reworked, but not necessarily for their damage because I think they're fine, maybe the dualies a little bit but I'll get more into that in a second. If the default pistols were made weaker, then these two weapons could actually be fine on the damage side, but would rather need their mechanics reworked. Now my biggest problem with the dualies is that for some reason they don't actually seem to work like dualies. They're actually insanely accurate, especially if you tap fire. You can easily hit shots across the entire map, despite the fact they're using dual wield pistols. Rather than give these weapons nice accuracy, I would like to see them have a better fire rate and be more inaccurate so that you can't just straight up beam someone across the map but close up have a better chance of killing someone. Even if it means nerfing the damage on them to balance, the fact that these pistols shoot pretty slow is kinda silly to me. Now you might be thinking, Mantis, these pistols have the highest fire rate, what are you talking about? Well you are right, but there are two pistols. If you look at just one pistol firing at the best fire rate, it's actually pretty slow compared to the rest of the pistols. I think optimally nerfing the damage on the dualies a little bit so they aren't a two shot kill to someone without armor and increasing their fire rate would help the guns become more balanced. I think it would be even cooler if we could have two shoot buttons for each pistol but I can also see why that might be very hard to control for casual players so the single fire button works fine. In addition, I think if the dualies were going to be reworked like this, holding down the shoot button on the dualies in my opinion should just give them their best fire rate because if it's going to be shooting pretty fast, you shouldn't have to spam tap it that much. I think you should be able to just hold down and shoot the guns. Now for the GSR, I would do a couple of things. A quick fun fact for all of you, all four of these weaker pistols have the same damage drop off values, so I'd probably give the GSR a better damage drop off so it's more on par with the longer range pistols like the Deagle and the Revolver 
and also decrease the recoil on it because right now the GSR has insane recoil and you really cannot kill someone long range unless you tap super slow almost like a revolver. This way the GSR could be a pistol with 4 bullets to kill versus an opponent with armor and the lower recoil and better range could actually make it an incredible well rounded pistol for people who enjoy the deagle or the revolver but maybe can't control the recoil as well or just want to have a different alternative. With these changes to pistols, the default pistols would be weaker and more balanced and if certain mechanics were reworked on the dual lease and GSR then they would actually be valid weapon choices over the deagle and revolver because right now on eco rounds people either stick with the default pistol they spawn in with or they'll upgrade to a revolver slash deagle but the dual lease and the GSR just never see the light of day. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see pistols get a little more love in the future of Critical Ops and also let me know if I should perhaps make part 2 with the sniper rifles in the game because right now I think every sniper rifle except for the Eurasio is pretty much an adult place. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.